Hi everyone, welcome to the Family of Five Quick Tips. I'm Rachel, and if you are new here, um, a little bit about our channel is uh, we like to do reviews on baby products that we like. Um, we like to share tips and tricks and hacks, things that we've learned from being parents for the last six and a half years, and we do have three kids, so we like to share a little bit about our lives with three kids. And so with that, today's video is going to be about um, baby products and items that I think are worth the money and some of them that I think um, aren't worth spending um, a lot of money on. And so if that sounds like something you're interested in, you wanna see more from the Family Five Quick Tips, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified when we release new videos each week, hit that notification bell. So with that, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about baby products and items that I think are worth the money and a couple that I think maybe are not worth the money. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first product I'm gonna be talking about is the Owlette. So this is something that tracks the baby's heart rate and breathing. And this is a product that we just got with our third baby. Um, I know, I think it was around when we had our first two, but um, for whatever reason, I didn't think that I wanted to spend the money or that it was necessary. Um, but after having two kids and then when we were expecting our third, we decided that um, with so much going on in our house and we really just wanted to get some good peace of mind sleep and not worry about if the baby was breathing at night and all of those things. So we decided to go ahead and get the outlet monitor this go around. And so ours is just the little one that goes on the foot. I think that you can get some, um, a baby monitor, actually the camera that goes with it and monitor your baby that way. But we just have the little sock um, that goes on their foot. And actually my husband did a review on this product. So if you wanna see that, we'll go ahead and link it above. So we've been using this for about a year now. And really it's just, I wish that we would have gotten it um, with my first two, just because as a new mom, you really just wanna make sure that your baby's okay at all times. And um, I know that there were many nights with them that I would sit up in bed and just look at the monitor to check on them. And I would watch and wait to see if their back would rise. Um, if they were sleeping on their stomach and then I would go back to sleep. So with this monitor, um, I it will alert me if the oxygen level or their heart rate went too low. And you can even turn on the app on your phone and go ahead and get all the stats at a moment's notice and then you can just have that peace of mind and go right back to sleep. So that is definitely something that I think is worth the money and I would definitely buy it again. The next item I'm gonna talk about is a good baby stroller. We have the City Select double stroller. We did a review on this one as well. And we have used that from our first daughter all the way down to our son. So through three kids, we've used it. Um, and a little bit about us is we knew whenever we had our first that we were hoping to eventually have at least three kids. So we knew that we wanted um, a, a stroller that would be able to turn into a double stroller. Um, we also knew that we wanted to kind of have we wanted to try to have the first two close together in age. So we knew that it would be important to have that transition from just one seat to two seats, also being able to put the infant carrier in on the stroller. And so the um, City Select double stroller did that for us. So we knew whenever we were registering for our um, baby registry, when we were having our first daughter, that we wanted to go ahead and get a stroller that was gonna last us all the way through all of our kids. I'm not the kind of person that likes to get all the different baby products, like multiple strollers. Um, I really just wanna have one, and if it works, I wanna keep it all the way to the end. And so that's what we have done. We use the um, City Select double stroller most of the time going to the stores. Anytime we go out to um, like a festival or a park or something like that, we always bring that stroller. And that one has really lasted us. So for me, getting a stroller that um, can grow with your family is very important. So it's worth spending the money upfront. So you're not getting a stroller that's just for one baby. And then when you have two, getting a new stroller that can hold two babies. If you can get one that can grow with your family from the beginning, that'll save you money in the long run. Okay, that leads me into my next product that I'm gonna talk about, and this is a mattress for the pack and play. So let me explain that a little bit. So we got a pack and play whenever we um, had our first daughter, and we would take that with us um, when we would travel. Also, we would use it for the first several months that our um, babies came home from the hospital, it would be in our room. We would use it to change the baby's diapers, also just lay them in if we needed to set them down somewhere. So it was used a lot with my daughters. And so we still have that same one. So here comes my son. He um, has used it a couple times now. And if you notice, the little um, pad that goes in the bottom of the pack and play, so when you travel and they sleep at the bottom, it's actually really thin. And so having used it for so many years, um, I don't know if it's any flatter or not, but just this go around, we were going on a weekend trip and as we were preparing for that, we pulled out the pack and play just to make sure that it was in good shape um, for us to bring for my son to sleep in. And we just kind of felt like 
the padding was really thin and the, the whole thing being six and a half years old, we just really felt like it needed a little extra cushion. So um, I did some research and I found on Amazon an, a pad, um, a little mattress pad that um, we could put in at the bottom of that. I think it costs about 40 or $50, I'll link that below, but um, we got one that is actually just a full pad. Um, and it just like fits right in there, but they do make some that fold and they're easier to travel with. And I didn't know that when I first bought it, we just bought the full mattress and then we went to go pack it up. And I was thinking, well, how do we take this home? Cause we actually just had it shipped from Amazon to our house. We brought the entire box to um, the place that we were traveling to open it up when we got there. And then we were trying to figure out how we were gonna pack it up. Then I realized that they make the fold up ones for traveling and then they make just the one that we bought for um, maybe just stationary use if you use it in your house and you're not really taking it anywhere. However, since then we've decided just to keep the one that we have. Um, my husband's really good at figuring things out like that. So we're just gonna kind of roll it up and roll with it and uh, figure it out whenever we go on our next trip. We're using that one mattress and my son slept really good on it and it really just made me feel better that he was sleeping on something like that. You know, the last thing you wanna do is have a baby who is sleeping well and sleeping through the night. You go on a trip and you get there and they're just not comfortable. So we felt really good about that purchase. Definitely worth it, especially if you're using something that is um, not brand new. So maybe if you have a brand new pack and play and this is your first baby using it with, it may not be worth spending the money to buy a mattress like that. But for us, my poor son, third baby, um, he didn't need to use that um, very thin pad that's been used for the last six and a half years. So we got that for him, no regrets, definitely worth the money. I think the fold up one is about the same price, so you can get them either way. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is baby furniture, like cribs and dressers. So with our first daughter, I remember going to many baby boutiques and checking out the furniture and really just dreaming of this really great nursery um, that I had in my mind that um, I wanted to make sure was absolutely perfect. So really, we were just willing to spend as much as it took for us to get the nursery that we wanted. So we shopped around a lot and we ended up buying a dresser and a crib that matched um, from a baby boutique and we spent a pretty good amount of money on that. And so fast forward 18 months after my daughter was born, we had our second daughter. And so we needed another crib because my first daughter was still using hers and we weren't about to take her out just because a new baby was coming. We were gonna keep her in there because she was just fine sleeping in there, which is actually a side note, definitely recommend keeping your babies in the crib as long as you possibly can. Both my daughters stayed in until after they were three years old. If they're just in there and they're sleeping well, why let them roam around the room? That's my opinion. But anyways, so that was a side note. So um, when my second daughter was born, we ended up getting a, we had to get another crib and another dresser because they did not share a room at the time. And so with buying another crib and dresser just 18 months later, we kind of just had this feeling of, wow, I mean, her, you know, our first daughter's crib and dresser, beautiful, love it, definitely worth the money but do we wanna spend that kind of money the second time? And the answer was no. So we ended up getting a white crib from Target, which was amazing and beautiful, fit her room so nicely. And then we got a nice dresser um, that was also less expensive than my first daughter's. And we loved her room. It was completely different. The first furniture that we bought was darker. We wanted to be able to use it for um, a boy or a girl um, if we ended up having a boy at some point in the future. And then our white furniture was a little girlier. So um, it was perfect for my daughter. We loved it. It worked out just as good as the first set. Um, and it's not like it was, you know, cheap or anything, but it was just less money than the first go around. So with that, um, I do just want to mention really the reason it's just not worth the money. I just really think it's not necessary to spend that kind of money. If you find something that you love and you want to spend the money, then do it. But just know that you don't have to spend that kind of money to have a beautiful nursing because really at the end of the day, they just end up chewing on the crib anyway. So I'll show you what the crib looks like now. My first daughter, I think she maybe chewed on the railing of the crib a little bit, but my son is actually really chewing on it a lot. So if you have any tips on how to get them to stop doing that, please comment below and let me know because I'd say in the last two or three months, he's really been chewing on it a lot and the paint's coming off and I, I'll get him out sometimes and he'll even have a little bit on his face, which obviously, 
can't be healthy or can't be good for you in any way. So um, we're dealing with that, but that super expensive furniture, which has lasted us all of this time, which has been amazing. And actually I will say it did convert into a baby bed. So it did grow with my daughter. Um, and again, it is it lasted through having my third baby. So that's been great for us. But I just ultimately think that it wasn't worth, um, it's just not worth the money if you don't wanna spend it because it's now, what am I gonna do with it when my son's done using it? We will end up donating, I'm sure, but um, it doesn't look as great as it did um, when we first bought it. So it's just, if you wanna spend the money, spend it. If not, just know that it's not necessary. My second daughter's nursery looked just as good as my first and we didn't spend as much money. So just remember that when you are shopping for baby furniture. The next product I'm gonna talk about is the Papablic Bottle Sterilizer and Dryer. This is something that I also did a review on a few months ago and I'll link that video above. Um, this is probably my number one baby product recommendation. Any of my friends that are having a baby, I will get this for them. Also, just anytime anyone asks me, what do you think I should get? What's like the most important thing? I just really am passionate about a bottle sterilizer and dryer in one. Actually, mostly the drying part. I just remember having my first two daughters and we were in the trenches of having babies 18 months apart. You know, who has time to clean? Everything was just always messy. And then throw on top of that bottle parts, pumping parts, all of that just thrown on the counter, laying out, drying, and taking days to really dry. But with the Papablic sterilizer and dryer, you can wash the bottle parts, pump parts, whatever it is, stick them in the bottle sterilizer and dryer. It sterilizes it for you and then it dries it completely dry. It does an amazing job. And then from there, you can store it in your cabinet, wherever you're gonna put it and it's done. And none of the parts end up sitting out on your counter for days trying to dry. You don't have to have any of those um, drying pads or any of that in your kitchen. It all comes out of the public completely dry and then you're done, ready to use them again. And so that is just something that really takes a load off. Um, I just, I don't like to have a messy kitchen. I don't like to have a cluttered kitchen with a bunch of things on the counter and that really solved the problem for me. So we did not get the public until our third baby. I'm not sure if it existed with my first two or I just didn't know about it, but we have had it for this, um, for our son and we've been using it for a year now and it's amazing. Definitely recommend it, definitely worth the money. I would spend the money again and again and again just to solve that problem. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about are um, gliders. So whenever we had our first daughter six and a half years ago, we, along with getting that crib and dresser, we ended up buying a glider. And so it's a really big, comfy one. We had some friends that had one similar to it and it was just so cozy and we loved it. Um, and she loved it and so we really wanted to get one just like that. So we got the chair, the glider, and the ottoman that goes with it. And I thought that I was probably gonna put that chair in the baby's nursery and then we brought it home and realized, whoa, it does not fit, it was way too big. Luckily we got gray and it fits in our living room just fine. So we moved it out in the living room and we ended up getting a um, wooden lower profile um, glider an ottoman that goes with it um, and to put in the nursery just because it fit better. And so fast forward to going through all my babies and me nursing and all of the things, I'll just tell you my experience. The big gray glider that we got, um, the big cozy comfy one, it was really deep. Like I'd have to sit back. Um, and so when I would nurse the baby, I'd have to put a couple pillows behind my back just so I could be sitting up. It just felt more comfortable to sit up straight when I was nursing the baby. And so that kind of made that chair a little less comfortable, but with the wooden glider that we got, um, I was able to sit up straight and it was just a lot more comfortable for me to nurse in that chair. I, did, I was able to put the boppy in my lap, put the baby on top and nurse the baby. And it just felt, for me, it just felt a lot more comfortable. So with that, I would just say, if you're getting one of those big comfy gliders, just know that um, the depth of it, you know, that could maybe determine if you're comfortable nursing in it or not, or even just sitting in there rocking the baby to sleep. I mean, you know, it's just a deep chair. Now, I will say, we are so happy that we did buy the gray glider because that chair has turned into the favorite sitting spot in our house. So. Um, we have been, we've been using it. It's been in our living room for the last six and a half years and it's turned into, we call it the gray chair. And so this is something that um, my girls love to sit in when they wake up in the mornings on the weekends and 
they get to watch TV, um, or when we're having a movie night, they like to sit in my lap. So really it's mine and the two girls. It's really our chair, it's our favorite chair. We mostly sit there. I can sit in it with both my girls on my lap and we can watch a movie comfortably. And it's just something that we just, we love using. Also, um, you know, just sometimes whenever the kids have a day where they're exhausted when they get home, they will tell me all the time, mom, can we just sit in the gray chair and snuggle please and watch a show or watch a movie and oh it's so sweet so that gray chair was definitely worth it but it wasn't something i used a lot um, for the baby it's always been something we've used when i was pregnant i would just sit in that chair and it was just so comfortable um, to watch tv but um again as far as the nursing goes and having it for a newborn or for a baby it's not really something that i use for that but as my kids have gotten older it is used every day. My girls fight over sitting in it when they just want to sit by themselves. They'll get into an argument about who gets to sit there. So it's definitely a great chair. So we splurged on the bigger one, got a less expensive one for the nurseries and it worked out perfectly for us. But I am glad that we bought both, but I don't think both are necessary. The last thing I'm gonna talk about are baby monitors. So we are currently using a BabySense monitor that has four cameras attached to it. We have um, two in our girls' room because they share a room, and then we have two in our son's room. And definitely think having a baby monitor that has multiple cameras is worth the money from the beginning. Now, I will say um, we have not owned a baby monitor that has lasted us from our first daughter all the way to our son. This is actually our third monitor. We had two Motorola monitors um, in the past and they lasted about two and a half years and so we've been using this baby sense monitor which we do love um, for the last maybe eight or nine months now and uh, my husband actually did a review on that one as well um, so you can check that out so it's just definitely worth having a monitor that has the capabilities of adding multiple cameras so that you don't have to buy a brand new monitor um, just to get extra cameras on a different baby. So just do a little planning. If you do expect to have more children or hope to have more children in the future, it's nice to have that ability so that you don't have to go um, spend the money to buy another um, monitor. But um, there's a lot of options out there. And so it's just definitely worth spending the extra money on a monitor that allows you to add multiple cameras. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed hearing about the things that I think are worth spending the extra money on and the things that are not necessarily worth spending the extra money on. Um, if you want to see more from us at the Family 5 Quick Tips, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when we release new videos each week, hit that bell. Also, we like to leave you with a positive quote each week. And remember, be happy, have fun, and enjoy the season of life you're in. See you next time.